you know, it's really scary how many people are diagnosed with having dementia that is not treatable when there are a well-known list of treatable causes of dementia. And yes, I have run into this. One of them was with my own 90-year-old father, who I was told, you know, always having cognitive decline, which I, of course, noticed. And somebody got thyroid function tests, but they didn't get the right fun thyroid function tests. I ordered the right thyroid function tests. And indeed, my dad was hypothyroid, and I treated him. His cognition is fine. So it's more often that um, something is missed than something is misdiagnosed and the wrong medication is given. Um, another example, B12 deficiency. That can cause dementia. That's treatable. Um, when somebody's taking benzodiazepines, you know, things like um, uh, Xanax, Valium, Clonopin, that can actually lead to cognitive decline. So, of course, the treatment for that would be to wean the people off of those medications. Now, the one thing I have seen where, quote, something is prescribed is depression can present as memory loss and mild dementia. And uh, that can be missed in, um, uh, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a real confusion sometimes if there isn't a good interview between the doctor and the patient, sometimes the patient's family, and sometimes depression is uh, diagnosed as dementia, sometimes dementia is diagnosed as depression. So I've seen both cases happen, and antidepressants can be prescribed when they're not needed, um, and anti-Alzheimer's drugs such as Aricept um, is probably the number one, can be prescribed when indeed the, the patient is depressed or has one of the other treatable causes. Um, there's a list of um, unusual things like infections and, uh, and at, you know, um, uh, certain types of really rare strokes hitting different parts of the brain, but those things are rare and I don't need to go into that. So I think I've gone long enough on this question. So I'll wait till the next one.